Yes, my internet family. What I want to talk about now is the gift of the spirit. I want you to look at 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9. You can read that, but let me read 1 Corinthians 12 verse 10. To another, the working of miracle. To another, prophecy. To another, discernment of spirit. To another, diverse kind of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. What I want to look at is the discernment of spirit. All of these gifts, they are still working in the church today. And this gift is not going to done away with until we all come into a perfect man, a perfect body of Christ. The gift of discernment of spirit will enable you to discern the kind of spirits you're dealing with. And if you observe, you will see it as a hesanit. Spirits, not just one. It is not discernment of face, people's faces. It is discernment of the spirit spirit that they had operating into their life. If you have the spirit, the gift of discernment of spirit, it is like a burden. All of these gifts, they are a burden. It is not to make you get attention among people and in the church. It is a burden. If you have the gift of discernment of spirit, every time you come against people who are in need, you know. Every time you come against people who hate you, you know. You can feel it. You can sense it. And I'm not talking about the extrasensory gift that, that uh, most people have. Premonition. I'm not talking about it. This is different from me. And when you have this gift, eventually it's going to drive you into loneliness. You're not going lonely, but you're going to be among yourself. Because when you go against the people them that are phony, you know them. When somebody call you on the phone and they call you with sarcasm, you know it right away. 